It's me again. I'm gonna show you, we'll tell you all the proper way to convert your old alternator into the up-to-date modern style charging system, all right? So, what I did was start over here first. I did new grounds and stuff, cause uh, mine was all old and stuff. Uh, right now, I'm gonna change this. This shouldn't be running to yours out. This is your, uh, your term for your negative terminal, your uh, ground, it should mount over here where that bolt is, where that hole is right there because this exhaust gets too hot. And of course this runs to the starter, your positive lead. Um, this here is the ignition and this here is the 10 gauge wire that I have hooked up and I ran them both under here and of course the little, the small 10 gauge where the you know, not so bright 10 gauge wire is in hooked to the ignition, all right? I'm gonna start with the alternator. So this here, let me make sure. You gotta still use this, okay? But not the, just the, uh, just the positive, the red lead, the hot wire. And you're gonna put it on the back as well as the one that's running to the battery. As, and then you hook this up, a wire, a 10 gauge, another 10 gauge small wire to the alternator itself and run it back to the two lead. So hook it up to the back of the alternator, the positive, to the two lead, not the first one, the first one is one. See, you say one right here, and then over here it says two, over here. So hook it to the second one. That way it charges up your alternator, all right? These wires right here, you know the old school style, you know you hit these two into the leads. That, this stuff right here is just Cut them off or zip tie me. I just zip tie them because I don't know if I never ever need them again. You never know what'll happen, you know. So just zip tie them back to themselves, you know. And let's talk about this, all right? This 10 gauge wire, you're gonna run it to the back of the positive lead of the alternator, back to the battery, like so. All right. So this is the part that got me. Um, what you need to do. Make sure it's focused. All right, right here. This is the regulator. It have four wires running to it. One, two, three, four. What you're gonna do is get those, the first one and the last one, and you're gonna hook them together like so. Okay. Mine is uh, it's been rewired, so mine is the black and blue wire. These two, the black and the blue wire, and I just hook them together. That way that uh your generator light goes back off, you know, stays off when you crank up the vehicle, okay? Then the other wire, well, I don't know which, oh, this this is to the, this is for the ground for it. You just, me, I just have it hanging here. But I'm just gonna tape it up and cut it off or something, probably. But here, you cut, you slice this right here. This is the, uh, this running to the ignition, the light. Man, I don't know what this thing called, right? Honestly, I don't. I just know what I'm doing, okay? Cause it worked for me. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. But you just slice it open right here, and then you get the red wire, the red wire. I, they all should be the same. I think it was the second, or the, I think it was the second wire from this regulator thing, whatever you call it. And you run it, you run it through here, you know? That way it can keep charging up the system, all right? And after that, boom, that's, that's all you got to do. This conversion, uh, I mean, it's simple, real simple and easy. So let's go over one time, all right, from the battery. Get one of these. Need, uh, me, I use uh, these right here. Make sure it say 12 to 10 gauge wire. Make sure it say that. Because if you get like a 14 gauge, it's not going to charge it up. And the next day you try to start it, it's not going to start. All right, so these are the big 3.8 inch terminals. I got the small ones, but I had got a big one because I got my system right here to hook it back up. That's the only reason why I got the big one. But you need like just a small one like that one right there, okay? Like that one right there. Just like this one right here. Right here. And I do recommend you change out the terminal, man, when you do this. So, bam, run through here. 
don't mess with your ignition. Keep your ignition the way it's set up, all right? I should have did my ignition just like you over here, just like this, but man, I ain't gonna mess with it. So run this to the alternator, all right? You can zip tie them to hide them. But that's how mine sit in there once I zip tie, all right? And then I ran through a little small hole through the through here, through the front of the engine. It came out through here, and then I went around to the back of the side fender and came back out. Bam! To the alternator, alright? So on your alternator, you should have three things going to it, alright? The one that's going straight back to the battery, the original positive lead for the alternator, and also this one that's running from the second lead back to the alternator, alright? It's a real easy setup. Real easy. You ain't gotta pay nobody to do this. Me, I think it took me about 15 minutes to do it. And a cup of coffee. I'm a little sick. Alright, so right here. This is the vote. Oh, that's I think the voltage to something. Man, I don't know what it do. I mean what it's called, man. But like I said, you're gonna have four little connectors right here it's gonna be one two three four get the first one that's on the very top and get the last one that's on the very bottom put them together like so just like this slice them open tie them up together with electrical tape just like this then with the red wire it's the only red wire on there that should be on there just like this it's gonna be red or pink mine so faded look like it's brown almost but it's 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 pink when i uh, spray the water on it so that's how i know it's red then you're gonna slice this wire up coming from your voltage regulator. There we go. Ooh, there we go. That way, can, and once you slice it up, put electrical tape around it. Right, wrap it around this one, put electrical tape around it. That way it's smooth, you know. And uh, let me show you how, how it's set up. So here we go. Now, if you're having a problem, like say how the, the ignition is off a lot, and then you got a GN light going, you just miss one of your wires up. That's all it is. So you just need to, oh, I forgot. Make sure you undo the negative cable, the negative terminal before doing this. You don't want to catch a fire or shock yourself or hurt yourself. So yeah. So only thing I do is just mess with those wires, man. You probably had one of the wires wrong. Like I said, mine wasn't was not color right because it's been rewired, so I had to play with it. Only thing that was right was the uh, the red one. But I looked on the internet, they said just get the first one and the last one, put it together. So see, see this is the oil light, let me. And then watch when I turn it on. See it's off. That's the reason you need to make sure your wires are right because if not, this GN light right here will stay on at all times. And over, if you get a alternator from a 78 Camaro, the um, with the V8 engine, well they all the same I think, for the alternator. That's what you need. Make sure you get the high output if you're gonna do like I got, but I'm I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, cause I have two twelves in the back, I think, and I'm gonna get rid of them. I don't like them. I don't need them. And that's pretty much it, man. It, it runs smooth. It runs perfect, man. Is is it? Oh, also I got a cutlass too, with a three fifty. Hey, appreciate y'all for liking. Appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, any question, comments, leave in the comment section, please. Thank y'all.